Hey guys, it's Deborah. Um, I'm talking a little bit quietly because it's late in my house. So I just wanted to revisit a dream that my daughter had and also related to a dream from a channel called Tell It to Stye on the Cross. And <clears throat> I'm going to explain the connection. So um, basically this couple that you see in front of you is a kid's show, a Canadian kid's show on YouTube. And they do like traveling performances. And um, they like work sometimes with the Wiggles from Australia. And my kids have been watching them for like the last maybe five years. So <clears throat> way before anything to do with Ukraine. And if you see they're yellow in yellow and blue, everything they have is yellow and blue. They live in like this yellow and blue house and everything's about that. Anyway, so my daughter, maybe two years or so back, had a dream about this couple it was a three-part dream. So she had a dream, then she, you know, woke up, normal day, whatever, and then a little while later had another dream, and then a third dream, three different days that all went together with the one dream. <clears throat> it ended with the rapture. And I've gone over these dreams before, but so I won't go over them, but I just want to um, link it up with like some crazy stuff with dreams from way past, way in the past. Um, from Telestai on the Cross. So if you guys don't know that channel, um, they were one of the first channels I ever saw on YouTube. So they're not posting right now, but their dreams initially, like many of them have come to pass, like in reality. So, um, and they dream about the rapture and lots of positive stuff. They also dream about like, you know, judgment and disaster, but they dream about the rapture a lot. So when I started watching them years and years and years ago, maybe like, I guess four years ago, or I don't know, it was a long time, five years ago, maybe they, um, were talking about yellow and blue a lot. They saw, um, well, they had many dreams. It's a long story, not just the dream I'm going to share here, but some other dreams about yellow and blue. I mean, the fact that they would see this so long ago and my daughter, my daughter had this dream way before the invasion, um, of this singing couple. This is not a fluke. Like I said, my daughter's dream was a three-parter and it related to her eating French fries with her little sister. That sounds weird, but in the dream, she was singing a song or listening to a song saying something about oil, the oil is holy or something about oil being holy. Oil, I forget the exact words, but French fries are made in oil and she was eating these fries and she was giving them to her little sister. And then she, the, by the third dream, there was the rapture. That's all I'll say. Um, it related to a famine. It related to a bunch of things. Um, there was actually a potato. It related to a potato famine. And it's funny because she was eating these oily French fries and she had the, lots of them that she could share. So <clears throat> anyway, that's a different story. But the point is it was related to this couple. And um, so now let me get into, um, to tell us on the cross, their, their dream. So yeah, this is the channel. Um, I believe it means it is finished on the cross to tell us die on the cross. And um, she, it says here, third plane crash dream confirmation for a husband blue and yellow jet. So her husband had been having all these plane dreams where this blue and yellow jet was crashing and burning. And um, trust me, I have been watching their channel for a long time. This, this video that I'm showing here, look, it says five years ago. She, they continued to have this blue and yellow stuff and look at what is happening. They did see the future. God did show them the future, just like he showed my daughter. Now they were a singing group, but the thing is in the dream, uh, my daughter knew she was a little annoyed at them. She didn't know why there's way more to the dream, but she was annoyed at them. So it wasn't a good thing. Um, so yeah, let me just move on more about this dream. So I'm going to um, play a little bit of the dream, like kind of like shortened. And, um, but I just wanted to show you that she put a community post one year ago and said, um, well, I guess this is her husband, Corey wrote it in, um, insanity. Kristen and I have both dreamed about this huge blue and yellow plane falling, uh, falling on fire and there's more like crashing or whatever. And they, um, put in the link about a plane. It is the world's biggest plane and it was destroyed in the invasion. Um, so the fact that it was the world's largest plane. So they put a community post one year ago because they realized, hey, our dream, it came true. 
So I decided to look it up, um, and it says world's largest plane destroyed in Ukraine. As you see, it is blue and yellow. Um, but just the fact that it's the world's largest plane, that just felt really significant to me. It was like, this is a huge sign. This is a huge sign. But look how long it took for the dream to come to pass. And I noticed the number on the plane was 225. So I thought I'd look that up. But look, it it crashed. This was his dream. Well, when I play the video, it'll be very short. But I'll play the video like you'll see. Like these people, that was five years ago. And he dreamt it years before the video I'm going to play you. So I think it was like maybe seven to eight years old. <clears throat> I mean, that's the hard thing. Sometimes we get these messages dreams words from the lord a scripture or something and we're like it takes years to come to pass i mean so i'm not saying that that's going to happen with something you know if you're feeling like frustrated or whatever but i'm just i like about something you have now i'm just saying this is we're not in control <laughs> that's going to be my next video we are not in control and it's what god showed me about how we need to move forward with all of this um but i looked 225 up in strongs and it means the truth, the truth to consent and agree. So this plane and these dreams and all these warnings, this was basically like the truth. And it's more than even the truth, like um, consent and agree. Like there's two, like my daughter and them, they both dreamt this. But if you look at the Greek, it says truth, but not merely truth as spoken truth of idea, reality, sincerity, truth in moral sphere, divine truth revealed to man <laughs> what straightforwardness what that plane is divine truth revealed to man so <clears throat> basically um and it said to consent and agree for the other one for hebrew and um i just felt like i should look up the number of the plane and my daughter dreamed of that group and she dreamed of this and her husband dreamed of it that's like three different people i'm sure there's more but this was a warning and see it came in a way that they didn't understand and you'll see when i play the dream it's just going to be brief it won't take long um that they didn't fully get it but it happened you know some dreams you just know you're like something is different about this dream especially when it's symbolic but it could have literal it, it was literal but symbolic too because it didn't happen the way she saw it in the dream or the way her husband saw it but it literally happened too. So it was like both. So let me just play the quick bits of her dream. And I've kind of um, just um, put it in little bits so that it's not like the whole thing. So let me play it now. Good morning, brothers and sisters. So I want to get on here and explain a couple dreams that I've had. That It's now the third dream that I've had regarding my husband's plane crash dream. Of the blue and the yellow plane crash that crashes in our backyard and... It's the one where it was a blue and yellow plane. It crashed in our backyard and um, he ended up running into like a mobile home that flew in our backyard and it had a Christmas tree up with presents under the tree. And since then we've grown a lot and learned that not everything happens immediately after he tells us something. In this dream I saw the plane flying. All of a sudden up to my right in the sky I see a plane and it's completely on fire not completely to the point where I couldn't tell it was a plane I knew it was a plane I could still see a plane but it was definitely on fire and um, there was it was crashing I knew it was crashing like something was wrong um, but it was kind of just like gliding in like it was gonna land except I knew it wasn't gonna land I knew it was gonna crash because it just wasn't good so I saw it and I point up to it and I'm like and I yelled at Corey look um I said, let me make sure I say the right quote here. I said, it's, I said, look, it's your, I screamed and pointed and I said, it's your plane to Corey. And I was referencing the blue and yellow jet. The one that he's dreamed about. Is this literal? Is it like a plane going to crash in my backyard somewhere around Christmas time and it's going to be blue and yellow? Um, I don't know, but this is the third dream I've had about Corey's plane. So that was amazing, right? Like... <laughs> the thing is to you know god time goes very quickly but to us it can feel very long and um yeah time went by and i'm sure they were both like what is this all about until they saw that huge massive jet that was the world's largest that crashed the dream literally came true and i have had that happen several times recently i'm not even 100 percent sure what made me look this up i 
know my next video kind of is related to some, some stuff that they talked about. And anyway, I don't know how this all came together. I just felt like I was supposed to report on this and relate it and kind of like revisit my daughter's dream with the blue and yellow with that group Splash and Boots. And also their most recent video on their channel is one year ago. They've stopped posting videos, but it says dream of hyperinflation, banks closing the American dollar. So a year ago, now a year ago there was signs and there was inflation. So, but banks closing, I mean, just with the um, SV bank, I don't know if I should say the whole name, um, the SV bank in the United States closing, um, you know, <clears throat> so yeah, that happened. And the fact that it was a year ago that he dreamt about this. So I didn't, um, put the whole video in there, but that's the name of their channel. Like it's their latest video. You can look that up. Um, I think I just knew about them from the get go that their dreams came to pass. Uh, um, and they've had many Raptor dreams. Um, they've had dreams about Russia and coming to the U S and they've also had dreams of, the rapture happening where they were, um, she was at like lunch. Um, so she was, you know, it wasn't like war at the time, but she had seen like a, a partial situation with Russia. So yeah, there's a lot there, but I'll get into it in my next video. So, um, just to wrap it up. Yeah. I just feel like <sighs> this is something just to say to people, you know, like you may have, you may have been told something by the Lord, given a promise. It's kind of like Joseph, like he was given this promise. He had that dream. It's not even just about dreams. It's just like even a promise or just a knowing. And you're like, when is this going to happen? And unfortunately, uh, we're not in complete control. I won't say unfortunately, because thankfully humans are not in complete control. God is. So that to be said is there, there is time. Like sometimes there's like this amount of time and we have to have faith and patience and is not saying I'm great or perfect at that. Um, it's a fruit of the spirit. So I just wanted to bring this to you guys because my daughter did dream of these two there. It was not a fluke. It was a three part dream and it ended with the rapture and with to tell us die on the cross. Um, both of them dreamed of this plane crashing. The fact that it was the world's largest, the fact that it was 225 and that meant a divine truth given to man. I mean, so basically what they were seeing was this huge, literal crash but also I mean now that I think about it when you think about the word um crash you the crash isn't that what they called um the great depression the crash so it could see how it could have multiple meanings like they could have been dreaming of the crash you know like like the crash of the great depression as in monetarily but it's also literally it happened and they were also seeing the war and it's like all of these things are, yes, they're huge birth pains, but I think they're also showing time markers and very, very significant events. And they're also, in, they're not encouraging in a good way. I mean, like encouraging as in to know you're on the right track, that you saw these things, they came to pass. So the other things you saw are going to come to pass, but again, not exactly. Like um, one dream she had where she was seeing the wife, she was seeing Kristen, her name is, she was seeing Russian soldiers, sneak on land um she now there could be a literal part to it on the u.s land but part of it she saw was that it was they they went to the u.s under a trick like as in sneaking like they weren't actually sneaking but they could be sneaking but it was actually more like the reason how they got to the u.s was sneaky so she had that dream years ago the point is see how some of this is symbolic and some of it's literal but the main thing is you kind of keep it in your heart. I was told talking to you guys before about holding things in your heart or that I have done that where something didn't make sense. Um, but it did. It just definitely felt like something significant. Um, and then you kept it and it came truth. Now, the one thing I noticed is sometimes these symbolic things, you try to interpret them. I even noticed on their channel tell, to tell us to the cross, they would interpret things and they've been wrong. And they even admit, they're like, we don't know if this is the right interpretation. And then as time passed, they're like, because they were like, oh, maybe this means this, or this means that. And as time passed, it didn't mean it. It didn't, but that doesn't mean the thing, the dream wasn't true. It just meant they didn't have that full, they don't know how it's going to play out. And because so much of it is symbolic, it's hard to ever see the future you just take that hold on to it wait and then the revealing will come you can pray for it to come quicker but in God's time he'll reveal how how is that going to play out so anyway I just wanted to share this with you guys um 
the fact that I just thought of the crash, I mean, that was, that just came to me. So I do think it's very layered here. Um, but I just wanted to say that, yeah, sometimes these things take a really long time to come to fruition and just to make sense. So I guess I'll leave it at that. My next video is very similar to this one. It's with regards to another dream and also kind of a interpretation of that and related to world events yet again, like this plane crashing and the also the the inflation, the banks, um, and the crash, which I just can't believe I just thought of that with relation to like um, like the Great Depression and just financial crash and all that stuff. So that is the next video, but it's more also about how to walk in this as the church. How do we proceed through this? And it's something that I feel like God really, really put on my heart. So I want to share that. And also he laid on my heart more about community. And I want to um, do something with you guys. I want to plan something that is uh, hopefully, well, I better get this out because it's for next weekend. So I want to see if anybody wants to join me in this. And it's just a, a community thing. And basically, um, I guess just a call to prayer and to the church to move and actually do something physically and be the restrainer because that's what we're supposed to be doing right now. We're supposed to be restraining much of this stuff. It's not to stop it because you don't stop the end times. You don't stop God's will. You don't stop prophecy, but we are to restrain it. We are to actually be doing something, not just watching and waiting. We wait, but we don't just like sit there twiddling our thumbs. We actually are supposed to be still working. It says work while it's still day because when the night comes, you cannot work. We're still supposed to be working, but a big part of our work is restraining. I mean, that's it's just, it's a good, it's good what God told me. So it's just how to walk in this. So stay tuned for my next one. I've got to get it out because it is um, with relation to next weekend, like a time sensitive situation there. Um, and like I said, a community, something I want to do. So let me just leave it at that and hope this was interesting for you guys. And yeah, I will explain how we can, uh, what we do with all this information in the next video. So until next time, um, I will see you in the next video or hopefully see you in the air. God bless and shalom.